Hello everyone, welcome back. We are going to solve International Standard Mathematics Olympiad today, class 4 level, some practice questions. So let's do the first one, pick the odd one out. So the first few questions 1 to 8, it is mathematical reasoning. So pick the odd one out, Nepal, Sikkim, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. So which is the odd one out? Obviously, Sikkim. It is one of the states in India, whereas Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka are the other countries. So, for the first question, option 2 is the correct choice. Question number 2. If A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 3 and so on, then what is the value of E plus J plus O plus T plus Y? So, alphabets are numbered from 1 to 26. So, let's find out the number for E. In the same order, it is 5, J is 10. What is O? What is the number? 15 plus 20. T is 20 and Y is 25. Now, when I add them up, 15 plus 15, 30. 30 plus 20, 50. 50 plus 25, 75 is the answer, which is option 3. I hope you are following students. Question number 3. Find the next number in the series. 2, 8, 6, 12, 10, 16, 4. So, what should we do? We need to find the pattern. What's happening? Let's find out the difference. 2 plus 6 is giving you 8. But it is reducing. 8 to 6 is minus 2. So, this is the pattern. Adding 6, taking away 2. Adding 6, taking away 2 is the pattern. So, what is next? Up to here, adding 6 plus 6. Take away 2, minus 2, plus 6, minus 2. So, next is plus 6 to get the missing number or the next number in the series. What is 14 plus 6? 20. So, option 3 is correct. So, let's move on to question number 4. A person is standing in Hyderabad, India. He is facing the sun in the evening. Without moving from the point where he is standing, he turns right three times. In which direction is he facing now? You all know that in the evening, the sun will be in the west, towards the west. Because in the morning, sun rises in the east direction. We know that very well. And the sunset will happen in the evening on the west direction. So... Without moving the point, he is turning right three times. It is same as turning one time to the south. Because north, south, east, west. So he is standing here in this direction. So what is given? He turns right three times. So this is the right side. One, two, three. 3 times 1 2 3 times otherwise he turns 1 times towards the south I hope you are getting the point or otherwise I can explain you this way he is turning towards the left only once he turns right three times. It is same as turning to the left once. So where he will be in which direction? South. So option two is the correct choice. I hope it is clear to you. Question number five. How many triangles are there in the given figure? So this is one 2, 3, 4 and when you consider the bigger one 5, 6, 
anything else seven this whole thing one two three four five six seven and one more this triangle i'll name them and tell you it will be easy for you let me start from a here a b c d e f g h i did i name all the vertices without missing any a b c d e f g h i so a b c is one and d c d e a second and c d i third triangle i d e fourth and then come here g e f and then the bigger one h d g and the other bigger one a d h okay how many so far 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 let's see whether any other triangle missed okay yeah a d g the biggest triangle among the given a d g so count them how many eight so in this figure there are eight triangles option 3 i hope uh, you are following question number 8 What is the sum of the smallest four-digit number and the largest three-digit number? You know this very well. What is the smallest four-digit number? Obviously, thousand. Because nine hundred is the nine hundred and ninety-nine is the largest three-digit. After this four-digit starts, the very first four-digit number is thousand. That will be the smallest. now larger three digit number as i already mentioned obviously 999 when you add them it will give you some 1000 plus 999 is 1999 option 1 is the correct answer let's go to the next page question number 7 if char is coded as dibjs then what is the word table coded as see we have to compare find out the relationship between the two words then only we can able to find out what is the code for table char c and when you see here d h i a b i j r s yes. so basically what is happening each letter in the word is replaced by its next word in the english alphabet after c it is d after h it is i so that is the code to be followed same manner table after t u and after a it's obviously b so both of these options starting with u b but we need to find out the third letter correctly after b it is c so no need to even check the other two letters we already got the answer option 4 should be the correct answer because the third letter cannot be m so this is how you can cut short your solution and go to the next one so that you can able to finish it on time let's do question number 8 if five friends send a text message to everyone among themselves how many text messages are sent in total so for example if uh, there are four friends each friend sends four messages to the four friends but here there are five friends send a text message to everyone every other person among themselves so how many left if a is the first person b c d e each of them sending to other four b sends to other four a sends to other four 
C sends the message to the other four and so on. Five of them sending four messages or four friends. Five fours are twenty. So totally there will be twenty messages being sent. I hope you understand because there are five friends. If I name this, I name them as A, B, C, D, E. <coughs> Sorry, A sends message to the other four person. B sends message to the other four person. A, C, D, E. Likewise, five people sends four messages to other four friends. That's why five fours are twenty, which is option four. Let's move on from question number nine to twenty-three. This is the section. Next section nine. In the given figure, each rectangle is a brick in the wall. How many bricks are visible in the diagram? So let's count each row. Five here, four here. Five again here, four again here, and five. So this is the pattern of bricks given. Add them up. That will give you the total number of bricks visible. Five plus five plus five, fifteen. Let's do it in shorter way. Four plus four, eight. Obviously, fifteen plus eight, twenty-three. Twenty-three bricks are visible, which is option two. Okay. We are going to do up to ten for this video. and the rest of the questions we are going to try next time let's do the last question for this live in a running race anil takes 10 minutes to reach the finish line bhanu takes 11 minutes chandu takes 8 minutes and 30 seconds dinesh takes 13 seconds who is the winner of the running race so usually to find out who is the winner of the running race what we will do we will find out the person who takes least amount of time is it not so among the four who takes the least amount of time obviously chandu he takes only 8 minutes and 30 seconds but when you look at the other persons they take more than 8 minutes and 30 seconds to finish the or to reach the finish line so obviously chandu is the winner of the running race which is option 3 okay students i hope this video was helpful to you and we will continue from 11 in the next video bye bye take care